What's up guys, it's Simon. So today is week 4 of the YouTube Pagan Challenge, and today we are asked, do you have an altar, shrine, or sacred space? Now I have all of them, and some of them I have a few of, I think I have mostly shrines, um, but in this video I'm going to go over each of them, going to do it kind of relatively quick because it's already going to be a long enough video with all the altars and shrines that I have. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay. So what we have over here is my magic altar. Um, this is the goddess side where I have my Morana depiction. This is um, a rag doll. I believe I got these from uh, Trail of Stitches, I believe. Yeah, these came from Trail of Stitches. And um, Luna Nightshade came from Riot Girl. Both are Etsy shops. And she has a black hen feather in her hair. Um, so I have the tools over here. Um, what you see right now is the chalice with some, I believe it's liquid snow right now. And that's because um, Morana is a winter guy, so I only put liquid snow or ice in her chalice. In... Um, the chalice, which I believe is the maiden aspect, I put that in for her, and then once it's gone, I'll refill it. Uh, this is the mother aspect, um, also known as Caroline. This is the crone aspect, also known as Matilda. Yes, I know it's very rusty. Um, I want it to be that way. I kind of feel it has that good old school look to it. I know it's going to erode. I'm probably going to have to get another one in probably 20 years or what have you. That's okay. Um, this is her candle. This is her stone. It's a standing black rock. A uh, piece of tree sap that was gifted to me. Um, this is a psychological trigger to remember about the uh, symbolism of the sea turtle. This is my geode. I put this stone over here so that way it keeps the energy inside. Um, but I use this for mostly recharging my crystals. Sometimes I'll put my... Uh, my uh, pentagram in there. Uh, this is uh, the Arizona State Quarter, and the it kind of looks like a squatting toad, which are very sacred to me. I don't want to go into the story too much because I have a lot to talk about. But um, if you guys want to know, maybe I'll share it later. <laughs> so. This is my mixing stick and what I carve my candles with, a uh, holly stick that I use for protection during the winter season. Got my uh, witch's salt. Um, this is popularly known as seven day salt, so if you want to know how to make it, look up seven day salt and you'll learn a lot of things about that. I make it a little different from how you can research it, but it's very similar. Uh, oh, by the way, this is the Black Madonna side. This is also where I have some representations of myself. So I have this little pentacle. Hold on. I have this pentacle that I made over here with a willow stick wreath, I think it is, from the Dollar Tree. And then I just put some hemp cord wrapped it around to make the pentagram put that there and that's my it's a Native American woman I got her from eBay she's 12 inches tall and that kind of seems important numerologically speaking to the 12 zodiacs especially with her dress it kind of makes you think of the night like the stars in the night in the galaxy um, with her not having any arms I definitely don't see her as a human representation and she doesn't have any um profound feminine features like uh, breast or profound rear so I kind of feel that it was a great representation uh, for the Black Madonna at the time it was the first one that I got um, she has that copper skin like the Native American so I kind of feel that it has that nature representation um, as well as the human representation um, she definitely has air and fire and earth and water being shown shown between colors and other depictions and Native Americans both male and female had long hair anyway so I kind of thought it was very unisex um, very 
um, also intersects where it kind of intertwines both of them together in one depiction. And this, I'm pretty sure that this is not a real crystal, um, so that's why I stopped wearing it, but I decided to put it on her. Still not quite sure if I like it or not. Uh, this is my Guardian Angel depiction. This thing was pricey, it was fucking $7, but I like it. I'm not going to complain. I see it as an investment. So this is a uh, sunstone. It's uh, kind of like a mountain shape. And then this is just an orange rock. Kind of looks like the blood moon. And I was gifted this by nature. Uh, I don't remember how to pronounce her name. I think it's... Aslan Seed or She? I, I don't really know. I'll try and remember to link her channel in the description box below. And if I can remember and find the video, I'll link the one where she shares her stone that looks similar to this. And as soon as I saw that, I really wanted one of my own and I ended up finding one. And so this is kind of to bring about polarity. Um, sunstone is masculine, so I have it on the goddess side. Um, this is kind of to be the blood moon, so kind of on the feminine side, on the masculine side of the altar. That's kind of what's supposed to be like. That um, dot of opposite, that's kind of a concept that I coined in reference to the the two dots that are in the yin and yang. That's kind of what these two pieces are. And um, got a dark stone and a light stone with a triple god symbol that I created, and then the triple goddess uh, symbol. A little thing of grass with a dehydrated toad that I found. I promise you I did not kill the toad. Baby premature bird's nest was on the ground that I found, and I collected this bird skull. Um, praying hands with my spirit orb. Uh, that's a shea. Got some nature representations. Salt. Couple of stones that say magic and spirit. Um, this is kind of to replace my working candle. It is um, rutilated citrine crystal point. Black rock saying believe. White rock having the um, a bind rune for powerful potent protection. It's a bunch of um, protection runes combined together. You guys remember this? This is my vision show. I did a video on that. And it has a magnolia leaf underneath. These are the element representations. And they're inside contact containers, I guess. Alter disc, not tile, because um, anything that's anything that's about 5 or 6 inches and above is considered an alter disc. Um, this is a personal oil that represents myself magically. Um, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, this is an arrowhead, kind of represents my Native American aspect from my first life. Phoenix representation. I used to have a whole bunch of max matchbox cards as a collection, but I ended up getting rid of it. I mentioned this in the consecrating video. This is where I put my gratitudes. This is my, these are my prayer feathers. This is kind of where I'll put intentions and stuff. It's a Native American practice, and then I'll tie it up on the magnolia tree. And the wind will carry them away to the Madonna. This is my Sawin pentacle with Hecate on the back. I sit my um, prayer feathers on top. Pendulum. Uh, the warrior or boy or youth representation being the bell. This is a piece of wood that came off a staff. This is my athame slash wand holder. It was originally a toothbrush holder. And then I have the air water. You can't see it. The blue one's water. Green is earth. And this little orangey amber one is fire. And those are my elemental orbs. Now you know why that's the spirit orb. Um, so this is my athame father representation. Wand Sage Representation. And then this is an air plant, which I need to water today. And the candle to the god and veals my patron. So, that's my magic altar. So, I'm going to start... Um, 
I'm going to move you guys over to the next one, which is the Pyrex Shrine. Okay, so what we have here is the Pyrex Shrine. So this is a spirit bottle to represent all the fire spirits, salamanders. It has a bunch of fiery herbs and stuff inside. Um, each elemental shrine uh, in particular has a uh, pocket Buddha. And uh, this one's health, this one's praise, as you can tell, they're the um, fiery colors. This was a crystal that I got from the backyard in Georgia. Um, it was, the person who was living there had a burn pile section in the yard, and this was in there, so it has all that dark charred section. I have these three pieces of burnt wood, or whatever, um, around this orange plate, where my... Uh, carnelian flame sits as the representation of the salamanders. This is my um, dried out orange to represent the sun. It's not going to stay there forever, um, but that's going there for now. Then we have my um, fire element candle. And then I also put up this piece of wood that came from the same spot as the crystal. So over here we have my Prosperity Altar. Um, this is where I was doing a lot of my paycheck spells and money spells and other sorts. Um, so we got the candle right there with the little Buddha beads. Uh, my Prosperity Money Dirt, um, or powder rather. My wand specifically for that. That is a quarter. Uh, this is my Trink of Five oil, which is basically kind of like a call money, keep money oil. Obviously, it sits on the candle to amplify energy. My corn husk besom. Gets my own take of the money garden or whatever. Uh, my piggy bank. And then this is... This was inspired by uh, Tiptoe Chick, her Buddha money spell. This is kind of what that is with my prosperity Buddha right there. So, I wanted to show you guys before I moved away. Um, this is another pocket Buddha that sits on the this little quick go-to shelf. This is the peace one, and it sits right above my um, magic altar. So this is my aerial shrine. Um, as the name insists, uh, this one is for the air spirits, um, specifically the sylphs. So Pyrrhic is um, relating to fire, and this one is relating to air. So what we have here is the little gratitude bowl, or plate rather, and a bunch of nature things just sit on there. This is my little little dish that I put honey in with a piece of citrine, raw citrine, a uh, little sun engraved stone, kind of like the ones on my magic altar. A little yellow stone, a little thimble full of um, goddess water, which is full moon water, and uh, this is a piece of bark, kind of like one of those knots that are on the bark, on the trees, I mean. And then this is a citrine orb, got some wild rose petals, some, I believe, smoky quartz, got a couple pieces of that. Made a little pathway to their home, which I haven't finished yet. Don't you love this? It's like a little Christmas tree type of thing. Their candle, a um, little dish of random stones. I know some of them, but not all of them. This is where I'll put like partitions and stuff. I'm thinking about moving this dude, because it doesn't seem to be working very well over there. But um, this is the Joyful Buddha. This is their um, protection bottle. Some flora water. And a uh, fairy ointment. Which is kind of like a gentle version of flying ointment. Um, so it's what could be safe for children. And it also helps you connect and work with the fae. So this is my seasonal altar. Right now it's for Yule. Um, so we got my um, the Magical Prosperity Pomander Ball, my um, Pudding Stone, my Sunstone, and my bottle for my Winter Essence. A bunch of pine cones around there, um, black stone for the season, and um, my, uh, kind of like an energy spell bag, so to speak. 
And then this is a crystal salt lamp, obviously. And on the plates, I have pine needles, holly leaves, and um, holly berries. And this is kind of just a new thing that I'm planning on doing. So for in bulk, I'll change up the stuff and uh, decorate for that. So this is kind of like another little shrine thingy. Um, so what I have over there is just kind of a little dog tag. Um, it says Woody's on it, which is a um, men's grooming brand. They, they make some really good bar soap and uh, shampoo and stuff like that. I had got stuff of them from a hair salon in New Jersey years ago. Um, I was probably 12 at the time, I don't know. But it was really awesome. I would like to actually get some again. And so then we have Guardian Angel representations. This is my little bedtime blessing that I actually will sing it because it kind of always seemed like a song to me and it came to me naturally as a song when I read it rather than just a little poem. This is my evil eye protection set when I'm protected at night. If anyone, um, it's kind of a new thing I've done since I've been on YouTube. I wanted to make sure that um, no matter when my videos are being watched, um, especially at night when I'm most vulnerable, I'm protected. Because, you know, people can send you the evil eye and evil intentions through um, the internet and stuff now. Scary shit. So, over here I have my, basically the pagan or witch's dream catcher. So I have a holy stone, a couple of feathers, and the pentagram with the web-like design being an inverted pentagram in the center. And then over here, I'll sit my, I'll fit my bag over there, and I would just, um, so that way it's right there for me to grab when I wake up in the morning. And that has always my citrine and my black tourmaline to help me stay focused and help with my dyslexia. And, uh, right now it also has blue kyanite. And I believe rose quartz. So yeah, this is kind of like a little bed shrine. So what we have here is my aquatic shrine. Obviously this is for the water spirits. So I have my blue candle, which I got from the GW, and the stand. Um, after I bought it and cleansed it and everything brought it inside, I realized that <laughs> um, the candle was not supposed to be... It wasn't supposed to be a candle and candle stand combined purchase. It was supposed to be two separate ones. Didn't know that it was together when I found it and the person who rung it up rung it up together. But apparently there was this ripped up sticker on the bottom so I don't know what that was about but hey I got it cheaper. I'm not complaining. So what you see over here is um, the Harmony Buddha on the left which is I think they called it blue and that's Aqua Hold on, let me get a little closer. And that's the Love Buddha. It's a little fuzzy, but um, hopefully you can see it. And then that's a real starfish captured in there. Um, normally I wouldn't get stuff like that. At the time I didn't know it was real. But um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, that's going to be my little stand for this pewter siren statue that I found on Etsy which I'm in love with and then that's the candle I'll be using when I finally get my Etsy shop open I'm going to be using that to um, not necessarily invoke the energy but to draw in the spirit guides of the person I'm doing the reading for so that way it can be more accurate so what we have over here is the earthen shrine it's kind of like a up and down thing so that Santa's not part of it. I just don't know what to do with him right now. So I have the, the Stang, um, this little dried out plant, uh, the Triquetra pine cones. I found these like that. I did not glue them together, I promise. A stone that I set the earth candle on, the Faith Buddha, another Stang, my meditating gnome representation on pieces of bark. An acorn, another acorn, walnut, brazil nut, uh, the stag, a little bubbly orb with some green stones, piece of wood, uh, canunos, a stick, a uh, green man, bark face, and dream catcher. 
And um, yeah, that's the earthen shrine. So over here we have my ancestral altar. Um, I'm not going to go into all the things on this, but you know, got the female, male representation. Not necessarily god and goddess, because my family's not pagan. But um, this is the um, ivy that I grow on there. And this was this bear is a musical bear. It's got the little key in the back and it plays it's a small world i've had this since i was born so it's going on 22 years old um got some gratitudes for my family members oh the bird fell down and right here is um a stone that my grandma drew on as me back when i was about going on five so yeah just before I started kindergarten. Well, yeah. Then, these are the cards that I will use to read with. They're just playing cards. Um, yep, so that's that. You guys remember the Ancestor bottle and the Ancestor oil that I made. So, let's move on. So over here is my divination altar. This is where all my divination tools are. I have um, Arian Rod, who is my full moon goddess, and my karma goddess. And I guess kind of my divination goddess also. That's kind of my full moon representation. Um, yeah, so I got Phoenix um, past life reading cards. Got my witch's runes. Um, that's going to be my scrying mirror. I'm going to um, make that on the day of the dark moon closest to Yule. Which might be today. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check. And um, if that is, I'm screwed. Then these are some tarot cards that I'm making myself, and then I dry out some stuff down there. So this is my familiar's altar. It's it's technically an altar, even though it's only used once a year. And that is because um, it's kind of more for her to go up for combining energy. Um, right now that's sticking up because one of her cat statues, which I have yet to make in honor to Bass, um, fell and broke. Luckily, it's in only three pieces, pretty big, so it's easy to put back together. I just haven't had time to do it yet, but yeah. Not too interesting on here, because um, the cat is broken, but when it's fixed, I'll show it to you again sometime. So over here is my sacred space. What I have is, um, it's a sun and moon wind chime, again for God, God is uni unity representation that's a black madonna representation uh then that's lord ganesha ganesha excuse me eventually i want to get like an ivory colored one or the bone colored one whatever it's called and um i'm gonna give that one to mum got a couple of candles over here got another sea turtle representation i have the elements represented on that plate and then that is my angel meditation um, crystal set that I compiled together. Um, if you guys want, well, I'm actually going to share that in the question that talks about angels and demons and stuff like that. I'm going to share that with you guys. Then I have a couple of just big quartz that I meditate with. And then you can see around there I have a silver and gold and purple Buddha um, on this altar. And then this is one of the crystals that I just will hold and meditate with. That's the bottom. Those are salt crystals in there that I'll put around myself when I'm meditating. And I got another couple of salt crystals there. And um, that is uh, my earthing rock where I'll uh, use to cleanse and center myself again after the day. Mm, uh, moon tower which I'll talk about in another video so yeah so those are my shrines altars and my sacred space um, if you would like to please do a video response sharing yours I would love to hear and see that um, and as always thank you for watching and blessed to be my dear witchlings